Hyundai has just released a new technical service bulletin for 2022 through 2024 Ionic 5, as well as 2023 Ionic 6. And what this service bulletin addresses is failing oil pumps for your electric motors. So in today's video, I'm gonna tell you guys all about this TSB and what's causing the issue. My contact at Hyundai also gave me some information and some things that you should look for to find out whether you are suffering from this problem. And I'm also gonna test my two-year-old Ionic 5 and see what I found. So if you wanna know more, then stay tuned. With wet spring weather well on its way, now is a great time to purchase some all-weather floor mats from today's sponsor, Liner X. Liner X is a Maryland-based company selling high-quality laser-measured floor mats at a great price. They're made from TPE, which is a mixture of rubber and plastic, so they offer traction and flexibility, as well as strength when you need to remove them, so you're not going to dump their contents all over your floor. If you've ever owned floor mats from, say, WeatherTech, then you know those are made from a much harder material that tends to warp over time, not with Liner X. They also feature a simple and classy looking pattern with a lip around the entire footwell so liquids won't spread around and get on your carpeting. I've been using their front and rear floor mats as well as trunk and rear seat liners for over a year now and they've held up admirably. So these floor mats have gotten the Ionic Eye seal of approval and when anybody asks which floor mats to buy, I always recommend Liner X. Available on their website or Amazon, the link's in the description. Hey everybody, it's the Ionic Eye. If this is your first time to my channel, I just wanna say welcome. My name is Corbin and I cover all things Hyundai Kia Genesis EV related. So as I stated previously, there is a new technical service bulletin. It was released on March 6th, but it just became available publicly on the National Highway Transportation Safety Administration's website. So now we get to see all of the details. So the number for this service bulletin is 24-EV-003H. And the title is Electric Oil Pump or EOP Inspection. So the description reads, certain 2022 through 2024 model year Ionic 5 and 2023 model year Ionic 6 may have a condition of the power down warning light, the turtle symbol, with power is limited displayed in the cluster and possible diagnostic trouble code P0A2F. So if you don't hang around on the Facebook groups or the forums, then you might not know what this is talking about. But as somebody who's involved every single day with the Ionic cars, I've seen many instances and heard many stories of people driving their Ionic 5s and all of a sudden getting the turtle symbol and power limited on the driver display. And beyond just losing power, if you are in an all-wheel drive Ionic 5 or Ionic 6, then you will see on the display in the car that shows you where torque is being distributed, whether it's to the back wheels or to the front wheels, you will see that it is biased towards the front wheels. And that is because the back motor is not getting the oil necessary to cool itself. Now I will say, in my experience with all of you, people who have reached out to me have said that this typically happens when on really long highway drives, nonstop driving where everything's just becoming totally heat soaked, that motor is just getting as warm as it's probably ever gonna get. I would imagine this is probably exacerbated in the summertime and in warmer climates. Um, so that's definitely a consideration with when these are going to go. So this all stems from a potential manufacturing defect with the oil pump and also aluminum shavings getting into the pump and then causing it excessive wear on certain components, maybe blocking some ports on it. I don't really know those details, but they did mention aluminum shavings have been found in these pumps. And that's never going to be a good thing. So the way this oil pump works is that when you power on the car and begin moving, the oil pump will begin spraying the stator of the rear motor with oil to keep it cool. And it needs to run at at least 600 RPM, even at low speeds, to continue to cool the stator. So the car's computers are telling this oil pump, I need X number of RPM on the pump to provide the necessary cooling to not overheat the motor. So once you get moving, you should see over 600 RPM. Now, if you own an OBD2 scanner like this V-Peak here that I use with my car, you can plug this into that port and over Bluetooth connect to your phone, and then you can use the car scanner app to search for these parameters, and you can witness all this stuff in real time as you're driving. So when I just heard about this a little while ago, I went out, plugged into my car, and went for a quick little drive, and I noticed that, yeah, my car is demanding this much of cooling power, and the pump is giving X amount of cooling power. So it doesn't look like my car is suffering from this issue, which is very good. I've seemed to have been able to avoid most of the issues that plague the Ionic 5 or Ionic 6. In the Car Scanner app, you can simply filter the parameters by EOP, and that will show you demanded RPM, actual RPM, the current that the pump is drawing, as well as the torque that the motor is exerting. 
So if you even have a sliver of a doubt that you might be having this issue, I'd really recommend getting one of these, plugging it in and see what the car is doing before you even bother going to the dealership. At least if you check it yourself, you know that you have an issue. You can go in with this technical service bulletin in hand and say, hey, I think I'm suffering from this. Can you guys take a look at it and diagnose it? I'll have a link below if you're interested in purchasing one. So when you bring your car in to get this technical service bulletin performed, that's basically what the service technician is gonna do, except instead of using a Bluetooth little dongle like this, they're gonna go ahead and use their fancy scan tool that they get from Hyundai. They're gonna plug it into the car, they're gonna check for that trouble code. So if they find that trouble code with their scanner, they're gonna take the car out for a drive, they're gonna do some hard accelerations to try and get that motor up to temperature pretty quickly, and then they're gonna check and see, is the pump providing what the car is calling for? Now, if they see that the pump is not drawing any current, then they are going to go ahead and replace that oil pump. Now, it also says if they do power on the car and they don't find that trouble code, but they do see that the car is power limited, they will go ahead and do that drive, do that testing, and if the pump isn't drawing any power, they will go ahead and replace the oil pump. Now, is this gonna be covered by the warranty? According to this document, it will be covered if you are under warranty. So it says normal warranty applies, um, and then there's a note that says, if the oil pump is out of warranty and requires replacement, submit a prior approval request for goodwill consideration prior to performing the work. So it sounds like even if you are out of warranty, this is a wide enough issue that Hyundai will most likely replace the part even if it's out of that warranty period. Like I said, my contact told me that this is a manufacturing defect with the pump, so it should be covered free of charge for you. You didn't have anything to do with the manufacturing defect. And Googling this part number, it looks like it's about a $300 part depending on where you buy it from, so it's really not too expensive of a repair in the end. The labor is probably gonna cost Hyundai a lot more than the part is. But now that you've seen this video, keep in the back of your mind, if you see that power limited turtle symbol, then you might have to go in and get this oil pump replaced. But just know that it is covered under warranty. I have not seen anything about Kia EV6 yet, but stay tuned. I will let you guys know if I hear that Kia EV6 or Genesis GV60 or anybody else is affected. I will leave a link in the description if you're interested in purchasing an OBD2 scanner to check out these parameters. I will also leave a link to NHTSA's website where you can download and print out this TS be if you do plan on going to your dealership and asking for them to take care of it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button because I got some really exciting news to share with you guys in the next week, so you're not going to want to miss this. Make sure you're subscribed. Check out my store, www.ionicguy.com, for accessories that I manufacture and design myself for the Ionic 5, Ionic 6, GV60, Kona Electric, and EV6. If you guys like this shirt, be sure to check out the link below to my thread shop where you can purchase some Ionic-inspired gear. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one. Take care, everybody.